from Britain and America. No news could be more welcome in China. The second instalment of pictures of the Quebec conference shows the arrival of President Roosevelt. Mr. Churchill and Mr. Mackenzie King were there, of course, to meet him at the Citadel. From now on, the conference got into its full swing, with British and American war leaders and service chiefs planning their integrated strategy for the breaking of the Axis, both in Europe and the East. News of the conference was almost non-existent, but newsreel cameramen on the spot could at least photograph the personalities taking part. The two premiers, the president and allied leaders of all fighting services permitted this record of their momentous meeting. There were still more personalities to arrive. Britain's Foreign Secretary, Mr Eden, and the Minister of Information, Mr Brendan Bracken, came by plane, and their arrival set more rumours flying around. Would the MOI chief hand out any news? He couldn't. Did Mr Eden's presence indicate a journey to Russia from the conference? The answer, once again, as far as cameras were concerned, was merely more pictures of the principals. News was reduced to shots of hearty handshakes and more imposing groups. The Earl of Athlone, Canada's Governor-General, now joined the famous people sitting for the photographer and Princess Alice, Countess of Athlone. Meanwhile, Mrs. Churchill and subaltern Mary Churchill drove around in a buggy seeing the sights. The subaltern had gone to Canada as the Premier's ADC, but she obviously got a little time off. Photographs were even permitted at the service chief's conference table. On the left, Lord Louis Mountbatten, the newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, Southeast Asia, and next to him, Sir Dudley Pound. Sir Alan Brooke. Sir Charles Portal, four of Britain's war planners. Planning the offensive, but unluckily for our curiosity, the film was silent. No one, of course, really expects any news from these conferences, but we all look forward, with the authors of the plan, to the vital days of its execution. And like them, we're full of quiet confidence. This is Movie Tone, Lionel Gamlin reporting.